idea for sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You never hear someone say, I'm a bad Chinese person. That doesn't exist. Judaism is the only place you'll hear someone say, I'm a bad Jew. I want it to be different, and I'm not going to be quiet until it has changed. Here's the problem with institutional Judaism. It reduces things to the lowest common denominator. It forces people into a box. The Punk Jews, uh, in our documentary film, encompasses six stories. It follows a community of artists, activists, and musicians in New York City who are taking their Jewish identity and expressing it in unique and unconventional ways. Ways that challenge stereotypes, break down barriers, and where people are expressing their Jewish identity in ways that most people wouldn't expect. Shut up, New York! I am the maestra of an intergenerational mob of Yiddish street performers called the Sukkot Mob. A Yiddish yoga is what if your little old Jewish grandmother could do yoga? In the past, we've always um, classified Jews in America between Reform, Conservative, Orthodox, and unaffiliated. Um, and a lot of Jews in, uh, today, in their 20s and 30s, f happen to fall into the category of unaffiliated. Um, personally, I feel like the word unaffiliated should be, just be completely done away with, because it, it puts a complete negative connotation on the, on, on the current generation and how they express themselves. And I think they should change the word unaffiliated to exploratory, because that's what Jews today really want to do. Um, that's the consensus I have found. You know, we want to express our Jewish identity, you know, on the street, or in a bar, at a club, at an event, at a concert. I found, you know, through mine and, uh, and the director, Jesse Zuckman, um, we were both um, just exploring our, Jew our own Jewish identity, way before we even had the idea to do a film. We were both uh, producers at NBC, and we would just find ourselves having conversations about Judaism. What is Judaism? What does it mean to us? We would just get into these deep conversations about it all the time. Those conversations led into us just starting to Google things and doing research, finding these kind of underground events going on around New York. We would go to them. Once we found that there is almost like this renaissance, this Jewish renaissance going on in New York, we really wanted to um, do a film on them and feature these people in a film. Cholent is a weekly gathering that goes on in New York City of um, Jews from all walks of life. You'll find someone from the most ultra-religious to the most ultra-secular, from chassid to hipster, and everybody in between. Their cholent being the traditional stew cooked uh, and served on the Sabbath that brings together a mixture of ingredients. Cholent also brings together a mixture of people. And it's, it's interesting to see the religious and the secular come together and they don't, to not look at each other like they're aliens anymore. And that's where we met a lot of the people that we feature in, in Punk Jews. My name is Yishai and I love to scream to Hashem all day, every day. Some people have accused them of being sacrilegious. Um, but you know, it's not, not everybody expresses themselves by, you know, by whispering from a prayer book. Some people have to scream for it. Another story we have is of a Yiddish street performance group called the Sukkot Mob. The Yiddish theater was once this, this, this uh, huge art form, a uh, huge industry that happened in New York probably starting from the 20th century and probably had its heyday all the way into the 1950s. During the holiday of Sukkot, they go and they do show in different parts of all over the city. The visual spectacle done in Yiddish. Sukkot! And um, you know, my grandparents spoke Yiddish, my father speaks Yiddish. It was not taught to me, um, and I guess I kind of felt like I was raised not knowing my native language. People don't even realize that there's over 400,000 Jews of color in America right now. Black Jews, Latino Jews, Asian Jews. The majority of Jews in the United States are Ashkenazim, uh, white Europeans. Um, and people have the misconception that in America that Judaism equates white. Judaism is a subset of white America. Uh, we met Y Love, who's an African-American Orthodox hip-hop artist, and he took us into the African-American Jewish community. So when I ask you this question today, like, do you face racism? And it's, it's an everyday experience. E even, even though they may have, there might be slight cultural differences, it's really just another it's just another Jewish story in, in, in our, in our 4,000-year history. 
Judaism is changing, just as, as, it, as it always has. It's not like this is the first time that uh, Judaism is, is evolving. If, uh, if, uh, if, we wanna, if you wanted to be an authentic Jew, then you should go uh, you know, sacrifice a sheep at, at, the, at the Kotel. Trying to stay godly, we all one family. This is unity. This is hardcore Florentine. At a period that I played a lot, you know, performed with a million bands. I think the thing I love to do the most is to sit right here and to do whatever I feel like on the computer. I really cruise around the internet a lot, you know, searching for anything, any, anything creative. Then I express myself through the internet. <laughs> The evolution of music and technology. 